Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. You might recognize this from a recent video that I did. This here is a membrane reed. It's just a couple pieces of PVC with a little piece of plastic stretched across the end there. And when you blow through it, you get a sound that's kind of similar to a clarinet. So I had done that video and I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you're curious. But uh, during that video, I said, you know, that'd be great if you could drill some holes in here and then you could have some fingering similar to a flute and actually play multiple notes on it. So I said, hey, I do a little research on that and I did and I figured out somebody's already done the math for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this particular uh, sheet on the on the screen so you can see it and read it and take a screenshot if you need to or whatever. But basically somebody figured out and, and this particular person was from Europe. So they did all of it in millimeters. So, but they figured out if you can cut it to 461 millimeters, that you should get an F note. And then they also figured out where to put the rest of the hole so you could do the scale. So what I have here is um, I took the millimeters and converted them to inches to the nearest 16th. And then, uh, and then you see the letter. And then on the other side of the letter note, um, I have converted it to eighths because most people probably don't want to measure to 16th. Um, they probably want to measure to eighths. So, you would from from the far end you would drill your holes at eight and a quarter eight and seven eighths ten inches eleven and a half thirteen and an eighth fourteen and fifteen and three quarters now supposedly all those holes you want to drill eight millimeter holes which equates to five sixteenths so you're gonna want a five sixteenths bit to drill those holes now what i'm probably going to do is drill a smaller one first and uh then uh, you know use the larger bit to go back now if you watched that last video you remember what i did here is i took pull this apart I took some vinyl tape there and kind of built up a, uh, a sort of uh, you know seal there so I could put this onto the tape. I also used some uh, plastic wrap here and um, you know made the reed. And you can see this is sort of stretched already. Maybe you can just kind of see it's already sort of stretched because it was nice and tight when I did that video. It could be temperature changes and other things as well. I think that other stuff might have been just a little too thin. So I found some of this. It's a little bit heavier plastic sheeting and I'm going to change out the reed for this too. Now this might be too heavy. Maybe it won't work as well. I don't know. I'm experimenting here so I'm going to find out. But as long as I'm taking it apart, I'm going to go ahead and change out the reed and drill the holes. So let's get busy. Okay, so I redid the T-joint here and I stretched the heavier plastic across there and hopefully you can see that it's fairly taut. So hopefully this is gonna work a little better than the plastic wrap, but uh, let's keep going. Okay, so I managed to shorten this to 18 and a quarter. I'm sure you probably can't see that on the uh, on the screen, but you're gonna have to trust me, it's exactly 18 and a quarter. So the next step, I'm gonna mark where I want to drill the holes. Okay, I've marked the holes there. And just a little tidbit here, I don't know if, you, if this shows up on the camera, but there is like some markings, you know, these kind of markings that they put on the pipe, there's a yellow line that goes right down the pipe and I, mar I measure right along that line. That way I know that I'm keeping them all fairly centered on the pipe. So let's go ahead and drill these. So I drilled an eighth inch hole first. Remember we're, we're searching for a five sixteenths bit. That's what we want to go for. But I did it with a one eighth, one eighth inch bit first. So I could do my best to try to, you know, get them in there. And I did, uh, there you can see one of the holes is just a little off from the line. So hopefully I can correct that when I go to the larger bit, but that should give me a nice starter hole for, um, for drilling the actual holes. So let's switch to the 5 16ths and go ahead and drill those. Okay, there we go. Our holes are drilled and it's looking nice and I still need to clean up these holes because you can see kind of some of the uh, little plastic shards coming off there. I'm gonna clean up the holes, I'll probably blow it out with some compressed air to make sure I get all the uh, debris out of there and then let's put it back together. All right, there we go. It is back together and you can kind of see the holes here. I cleaned them up a little bit. And then also when I trimmed this off, I took a little scrap piece and put it in here um, just to get the uh, reed a little further from your face as it's kind of hard to play with this little short thing. So now I put the pipe back in here and getting the tension right is always a little bit of a challenge. Let's try it here. Seems to be pretty close. So let's see if the notes work. So it does seem to work. Now, obviously I'm not used to this fingering yet and it's gonna take me a while. I'm not even sure how I would hold this just yet. All right, since I was having trouble with the fingering, I just taped over this hole here because it's kind of confusing me. I'm gonna to have to obviously figure out how to finger this, but you can see 
uh, just with a basic fingering here, you can get. So I'm not sure that I got those perfect. I'll have to put them on the tuner and make sure, but you know, you can get the idea. It's definitely going up in pitch. Um, you could probably play all around with that a little bit and get it exactly to different scales and whatnot. But hey, for a first attempt at building a membrane reed and then actually adding other pitches to it, I'm pretty pleased with this. I can't complain. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that helps somebody. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.